so we are. In the day of Srinivas Acharya today, Srinivas Acharya was a very beloved devotee of Lord Chaitanya. He was announced, his appearance was announced by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to Chaitanya Das. Chaitanya Das, his father, he had been present when Lord Chaitanya's hair was cut for his sanya ceremony. And it's said that even though he was a <coughs> a devotee of Goranga, when he saw him taking sannyas, he could only continue to say Chaitanya, 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 Chaitanya. He would never stop saying Chaitanya. So finally they changed his name to Chaitanya Das. Oh, this is Chaitanya Das, the one who always says Chaitanya, Chaitanya, Chaitanya. So, Chaitanya Das was married and he was very austere, even though he was married, he would never touch his wife. So one day they were on a pilgrimage and in that pilgrimage they went to, to Puri to meet with Goranga Mahaprabhu. When they met there, Chaitanya, Chaitanya Das he saw Lord Chaitanya and Lord Chaitanya said to him, Chaitanya, I want you to have a child and the name should be Srinivas. So this was very shocking to him because he had been, a, even though a Grihasta, he had lived a Brahmachari life with his wife. But with the direct order of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, that's a different story. So when they went back from the pilgrimage, he had a child with his wife and Srinivas was born. And Srinivas Acharya, he was, you can imagine, a special child requested to come by Mahaprabhu himself in the family of his devotee. So, there's one story that one time Chaitanya was in the temple in front of his deities and he started crying. I have no devotion, I have no devotion. Then his son was coming by, he was maybe five years old. And he went in the temple room and he saw his father was crying. He said, Father, why are you crying? says, oh, I have no devotion for Krishna, I have no devotion for Krishna. So immediately the boy also started crying. I also have no devotion for Krishna. So their father and son, they are crying in the temple. Then there was so much noise, the mother heard it, and she came running. What's happening in the temple? She sees her husband and the child on the floor in the temple crying, we have no devotion for Krishna. And as soon as she understands what's happening, she falls on the ground and starts crying also. I also have no devotion for Krishna. I also have no devotion for Krishna. So this is an example of perfect Grihastha life. There they are crying for devotion. We only cry when we get angry, envious, or we lose something material, but otherwise we're very difficult to cry. When we learn, Prabhupada started a crying school, somebody said, so that you can learn how to cry. 
So the song I will uh, sing for you now is <coughs> that is for the crying. 